Welcome to week 10 of Friday Night Highlights. I'm Jessica Vo. Now it's the final week of the regular season and we have a lot of action up and down the Central Coast. Now for many teams tonight, there's a lot on the table. A league title and that's the story tonight in our game of the week. KSBY sports reporter Chance Dickman is live at Paso Robles with more on tonight's North County Showdown. How's it going Chance? Thanks, Jess. It is going great. Well, you can always throw out the records when these two teams meet up. Paso Robles and Atascadero are two of the tightest rivals that you may find on the Central Coast. Tonight, though, the Bearcats look to lock up the Pac-5 league title, while the Greyhounds look to play spoiler. War Memorial Stadium, the site for tonight's North County battle as Paso Robles hosted Atascadero. First drive of the game for the Greyhounds, a little trickery. Flea flicker back to Cade Van Allen. He goes across the middle, but it's picked off by Noah Durfee. He starts the other way down the sideline and eventually pushed out at the three yard line. That would lead to an Orlando Quintana touchdown, seven nothing Paso. Same score in the second. Paso Robles rolling with Quintana on the ground. He breaks to the line. Goodbye. 19 yards and the Bearcats go up 14 nothing. Then just before halftime, Reese Brumley dropping back and he connects with Dade Murphy wide open in the end zone. Paso goes into the break leading 21-0. Greyhounds knocking on the doorstep right away in the third. Fourth and inches and Kobe Cross plunges his way across the goal line. A-Town cuts the deficit to 21-7 and they weren't done yet. Late fourth quarter, just one play after a forced fumble. Eric Machado marching in for the score. Greyhounds are down by seven, but that's as close as they'd get. Paso Robles holds on to beat Atascadero 21 to 14, and the Bearcats claim the 2017 Pac-5 league title. It's a great feeling. You know, I'm so happy for these kids and what they've had to go through the last few years. And uh, they didn't quit when, when, when people around us didn't believe in it. These kids believed, the staff believed, the administration believed, and you know, they got what they deserved tonight. It feels amazing, honestly. Like uh, we've been pushing all year, and we've had to face so much adversity, and like there's so much to overcome, and we definitely overcame it. The first round of the playoffs are right around the corner. Paso Robles is in. They don't know who they'll play just yet, but what they do know is that game will be right here at War Memorial Stadium. Reporting live in Paso Robles, I'm Chance Dickman for KSBY Sports. Jessica, I'm going to cap off my regular season. Well, I tried to. <laughs> you have a good rest of your show. You better have one for me later. We're fighting. <laughs> Thanks, Chance.